This week we're talking about optical prints. Optical prints are having a fashion moment this season. Now in fashion, when we say optical prints, what we mean is prints that make your eyes go a bit funny. Often it's best not to overthink fashion. I'm not sure if optical prints has a technical meaning, but in fashion, that's what it means. Um, as you can see, I'm modeling two of them today, two for the price of one. Uh, this shirt is by Miu Miu. Miu Miu and Prada were the kind of catwalk originators of this trend. And um, my trousers are by Zara, who are one of the uh, high street originators. I'm not sure, do we say this for this trend? Um, I think if you're gonna wear this look, one thing you have to bear in mind is to keep the pieces that you're wearing quite sharp. This is not a print that you want to wear on a crazy multi-layered dress because then you just will look all kinds of crazy. So it's best to wear it, a buttoned up shirt, trousers, a simple dress, something like that. Keep some elements simple. Um, now these kind of prints remind different people of different things. Some people see them and see math puzzles. Some people see them and see you know, tiles that their grandparents used to have in the kitchen. The, 1970s. It's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a movable feast, this look, optical prints, but there's a lot of it about, and some of it is really quite pretty, so I think we should get over our prejudices and have a look. On the catwalk, Jonathan Saunders did some of the absolutely loveliest. This blouse here, um, which on the catwalk comes with a matching skirt, so, you know, there's no need to tone it down with plain black. You just wear it head to toe. And this one here, which is also Jonathan Saunders. I love this because uh, the little kind of deco waves and the sort of very corally pink color are very ladylike, but the overall intensity of the pattern really makes it quite surprising. We're gonna dive straight in and go for some of the hard to wear pieces first. So just hold tight and it will get easier. Stay along for the ride. Um, these are from Warehouse and this is a trouser suit and a half. I think you'll agree. It's a kind of, it's a kind of mismatched match pattern. Just to just to confuse your eye even further. You can't quite tell if the pattern is the same or different. It's actually very slightly different on the two pieces. And sticking with crazy, these trousers I'm showing you because I just love the colours. I think that kind of graffiti colour is just brilliant. It's kind of pop art meets op art. And now for something a little more wearable. Uh, this pencil skirt by French Connection has the op art thing going, going on, but in a way that you could definitely incorporate into your Monday to Friday wardrobe. This blouse here is a very elegant take on the look. This is more kind of Italian palazzo tiles rather than 70s seaside B&B &B tiles. It's by Piazza Sempioni. And, um, the colours are just gorgeous and it's really the most lovely silk and the most beautiful shape but also definitely has the op art trend. Uh, my high street tips for this would be Zara, where the trousers I'm wearing are from, and also Next. You might have noticed um, their ads this season. They've got Arizona Muse wearing a whole bunch of really beautiful op art pieces including this dress. Some designers who don't want to go the full op art route are kind of using that graphic mode to influence their patterns. This is Diane von Furstenberg sort of heart pattern which is a very recognizable DVF look but uh, given that kind of computerized slant that uh, makes it look a bit more this season. And similarly at Versus this which has this very uh, Versace sort of um, motifs and circles and uh, then puts it into a, a 2012 autumn winter op art kaleidoscope. And then lastly, I think this is worth a look at because it's such a nice subtle take on the look. This is Marks and Spencer's Per Una trouser suit. I mean, you could argue it's not op art, but I think it's definitely got very much that flavour, but it's in these very muted tones and um, it turned into a, into a rather kind of loose trouser suit that I think is really quite a good early Christmas party option.
Thank you.